Hi divers, Alec Pierce, hose protector, Alec Pierce Scuba, tech tips, yes, we're going to talk about hose protectors today. Almost every regulator comes with hose protectors. Now, I know with our service center here, we will not let a regulator out the front door without having hose protectors on it. When, it, when somebody buys a regulator from us, they sometimes they come with hose protectors, but most commonly they do not come with hose protectors from the manufacturer. So technically you could buy a regulator and out the door you go. We won't do that here. If the person is not prepared to pay $2.50 per protector, that's like $10 for a whole regulator, we'll give them to them. Uh, don't take that and use that to your advantage. Don't come in here and buy a regular no hose protectors in the hopes of getting free uh, hose protectors. But anyway, it's very important because hose protectors are important. Uh, maybe I should change that. Maybe I should say they were important because things are changing. Things are changing. All right, first of all, let's talk about traditional hose protectors. Here we go. There's usually a hose protector on each end of a regulator, <clears throat> of a primary anyway. So the primary, the main hose protector is on this end right here, up against the body of the regulator. And this is the one that's important. Recently, the last number of years, the last 10 years maybe, more and more uh, manufacturers have been putting a protector down here on this end. Now this is not, to my mind anyway, not strictly speaking a hose protector, as it is a swivel protector. Ooh, get this one off. Can you get in close here, Kevin? I want you to take a look at this swivel. This one is not too bad. <clears throat> but you see it's a little bit grubby in there, and the swivel action is right here. The actual bending action is down here. This hose protector is so short. Can you still see this? The hose protector actually ends right there. So this doesn't protect that hose from bending. All it really does is cover up that nice chrome swivel. That's not good because people do not pull this down regularly. This hose protector traps salt water and sand in there. So after a while, this swivel goes, it doesn't swivel anymore. It's so full of dirt and crud. Now I had to bring it to service. I take this off. I clean that. I take this apart. Sometimes this swivel is so bad that just changing the O-rings in there won't help. The swivel and the whole hose on has to be replaced. So I do not like this particular protector. If you do like it, if you don't like the look of chrome, and you want to keep that, great. But make sure you pull it back and rinse that all off in the fresh water. Swivel this around. Pull on a little. There's a bit of give there. It's supposed to be. Bit of give. Pull it around like that. There's green in there. That's not good. Swivel it around. Clean it off. And then put this back in place. However, generally, I'm not a big fan of them. So this is what a typical regulator hose would look like. Black rubber hose protector against the body, which, which, as I've explained, is nice and long so that the hose won't crimp right there. See how it crimps, Kevin? Can you see that? You see that crimp right there. And if it crimps against the metal, what happens is that the rubber coating sometimes will crack a little bit. And when the rubber coating cracks, then you can see the nylon threads underneath. It's just like treads in a tire. That's what gives the hose its strength. And pretty soon the hose is ruined. So this hose protector is worthwhile to keep it from bending too sharply, you see. This one on this end, we've just talked about that. Make sure you clean it off. It's pretty much useless there, you see. It's actually showing through there. So that's the one thing you need to do with your own hose protector. Now, why do I say things are changing? Because we don't use rubber hoses very much anymore. A lot of regulators still come with them. In fact, the majority still do. But more and more every day are changing. So more and more uh, manufacturers are now shipping their regulators with the new flex hoses. The flex hoses are fantastic. They've been developing over 10 years. Some of the early ones were a problem. Uh, I should tell you about some of the early rubber hoses that were a problem. For quite a while, a major manufacturer, <clears throat> every time we put, the hose, put a rig together and turn the air on, the hoses leaked. Of course, the manufacturer of the gear doesn't make the hoses. They buy these from the hose manufacturer. And so for a while, that particular manufacturer, whose name doesn't matter, they're out of business now, not because of the hoses, uh, but, uh, but uh, they bought their hoses and put them on. They got a bad batch. Maybe they bought, I don't know, a thousand hoses, and a thousand hoses blew up. And so it was a bit of a nuisance. Point being that rubber hoses were not perfect either. These were not perfect when they were new. Now they are. You know what I mean when I say perfect. I'm not saying they can't have a problem, but now it's highly unlikely. So these flex hoses are fantastic. Now, hose protectors. This is where I'm going with this, because some of you asked about hose protectors on flex hoses. I say no. I say don't bother. These, hose, these hoses are so flexible. Watch this. There's no way you can do that with a rubber hose. You try that with a rubber hose, and 
I don't think you can get much closer than two or three inches. You see that? Big, big difference. So these are extremely flexible. And this outer nylon coating is very, very strong. So if this does crimp very closely right there, it's not going to hurt. You see, it doesn't bend sharply at the metal. Look right there, you see? It doesn't bend right at the metal. You see that? So it's highly unlikely that nylon coating is going to tear. If you don't want the hose protector, don't like the hose protector, don't put it on to flex hoses. I don't think you need it. Hopefully I'm right. We'll find out over another long period of time. But for the last five years, we've not put them on, my own regulator included, and I have flex hoses on every piece, primary, secondary, BCD inflator, and my, uh, my SBG. So I don't put hose protectors on, and since I don't like hose protectors, this one on the, this end, I definitely don't put it on there. Makes it a lot easier for me to rinse and clean things too. There you go. Hose protectors, what they're good for and what they're not good for. Can't hurt to know. Hope that. It's a nice short video. Maybe some ideas in there. Let me know what you think. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. Talk to you again soon.